Hello, my friends, and welcome to the November new releases for Coco and Fluff. So I have here a mess on my desk of things to share with you, but the very first thing that I wanted to share with you are the leftovers from the convention that I will be heading off to in just a couple of weeks. So I have a table at the SGS convention in Florida on um, the weekend... The the second weekend in November. So I have extras. This is part of what's in our table setup. It's a whole big thing. There's a whole lot of stuff there. I'll take a lot of pictures. I'll share them all on social media so you can see what our table looks like. But these are some of the things that are there, just a couple. So I wanted to make extras so that I could put them in the shop in case anybody wanted some for yourself. So I will go over the scents really quick and show you all of the different designs. We have redesigned covers. Everything is now all has to do with Leafy and my shop and all the hand-drawn stuff because you know that's the direction that we're going in. I do have a few kits here off to the side that I have pulled in from my stash of artwork that I've had kind of laying around for a little while that I thought um, that I really, really liked. So uh, unless I really, 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 really like it, it's not going to end up in the shop anymore. It's mostly all going to be the hand-drawn stuff. So anyway, let's get on to this warm flannel. This is what I have burning in the office right now. And oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can explain this. It's really, really hard to explain. It reminds me of... So like a crisp, cool autumn evening curled up in a warm blanket on the couch with the fire going and your favorite hot drink and just like snuggling and watching a movie. It just what it reminds me of. So I'm going to show it to you. So this is the cover that I used. <laughs> this is the artwork from the Harvest House and he looks like he's wearing like an old patchwork flannel. <laughs> so that's why I used it for this one with the warm flannel. And then on the inside, my daughter did all the decorating like she always does. So here's the inside and it's got all like the little pieces in it. These are all fine to burn you just wipe them out throw them away when you're done um, I wouldn't leave them in there burning constantly like over and over again but when you're done with this wax then you are cleaning out the wax also clean out the little pieces at the bottom but otherwise they will be fine so there's that and then like the scent for this is um, bergamot orange nutmeg there is some um, cream vanilla and orchid and then cedar patchouli and sandalwood and amber. So I'm just reading off of the actual scent list of what's in here. So if you can take all of those and try to imagine all of those together, what that would smell like. What I explained is what I feel when I smell this. So everybody's gonna be different and some people absolutely, including me, hate patchouli. I don't smell that in here. So it doesn't have that musky smell. Um, because I don't like that. Some people love patchouli. I'm not one of those people. So uh, I can tell you that I love this. It's burning in the office right now because I wanted to test it out before I tried to explain it to you. And I've already tested these out the other day. So um, yeah, I love this. Love, love, love. Okay, so there's number one. Number two, let's do the easy one, pumpkin souffle. So pumpkin souffle is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> um, it's, it's mostly just, let me read the scent to you and then I'll open it up and show it to you. So Walnut, pecan, espresso, pumpkin, caramel, ginger, cinnamon, and allspice. So artwork on the front is the little, um, all the, like the little pumpkin stuff with my little leafy there. So I thought this was like the perfect cover for this one. And then when you open it up, my daughter, <laughs> she's so cute. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well because it seems like it wants to readjust, but I'll show you that. So isn't that stinking adorable what she did on the inside? I love it when she does these. <laughs> I make her do all of the little sprinkling and stuff. And she's so picky about it because she's like, okay, this one gets one and this one gets one and this one gets one. It's ridiculous. My whole entire, I have a very big kitchen table and it is covered end to end with these and she's one at a time putting them all on. So anyway, this one is pumpkin souffle. It is very, um, like a kitchen comforting, like aroma, like baked desserts, that kind of stuff. It reminds me very much of like maybe going to a coffee, coffee shop during the fall when you smell like a lot of that, like the pumpkin muffins and the pumpkin bread and all that kind of stuff. That's what that reminds me of. So absolutely fantastic. Burned this the other day. Love, love, love. And then the last one is the apple vanilla cinnamon. So I tried to go with fall scents that were not too crazy because I didn't want, you know... I'm giving these to people that I don't know that aren't really expecting them. So I didn't want to go with a bunch of crazy, like crazy scents that I didn't think that, you know, the general public would like. So I went with some things that I think are pretty standard fall scents. So hopefully everybody likes them. Anyway, apple pie. So this is the artwork, the apple pie artwork, apple, vanilla, cinnamon, exactly how it sounds. Very apple pie-ish, but I will read off what they have in it. So you have lemon, lime, apple, 
cinnamon, clove, yang yang sugar, and creamy vanilla. So that's what's in here. So it's very, very, very apple pie-ish. And then here's all the little things, which I have moved them around. She's going to murder me. I moved them around. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sis. You guys got little apples in there. So anyway, that's what the inside looks like. And this one is exactly what I... I I described very much like cozy autumn baking sweet treats that kind of stuff that's that's what that one smells like so anyway that is it for the wax melts and now we can move on to the next thing so I wanted to do the journaling bundle first journaling bundle first let me back you out a little bit because we're gonna need some space for this bundle that I have off to the side here so um, this month's gonna be the last month where this will be outside artwork. So starting in December 1st, it's going to be all the hand-drawn art. So next month I can give you a hint. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the journal because I have them. They're here. I am 100%. Well, I shouldn't say 100% because this week the washi tape is coming in. And yes, I did get washi tape. So we're going back to the rolls of washi. I do for these particular bundles that I'm going to show you right now, we still have the washi sheets, um, the washi sheets, but I did order washi tape for this bundle right here. So this is the cozy books. This is next month. So this is the journal. This is the size the journals will be. Lots and lots of pages. Still your dot grid on the inside. And this is the artwork for the journal. So I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek so you know where we're going with that. But that is how all of the journaling bundles. So it'll be available as a journaling bundle. Or you can get it in the big bundle. Or you can get it all separately. It's totally up to you. I'm leaving this. I'm keeping it very, very open for how anybody wants their things. But this month is the last month that we're going to do um, purchased artwork. So this month we have Winter Dragon. I'll start with the pen. So the mild liner this month is one of the new colors, I think. No, this is lavender. I don't know. It might be one of the... I ordered new colors. I just can't remember if they were part of the SGS convention bundle. They might be. So this is the lavender. Goes perfectly with this. Wanted to give you a nice pretty purple. And then I'll go over the journal. Look at how gorgeous this journal is. It's that soft cover, like always. Oh, so beautiful. This is the bigger ones. This is the last of the big, big ones. I'll show you the size difference here. Size difference on the new versus the old one. So there it is. It's just, this one's much bigger than this one. This is A5. So if you have an A5 cover, this is going to fit in your A5 cover. And an A5 cover, let me just... Uh, let me show you the difference here. So let me pull this one out. So like this is way too big. So this is an A5 cover. And this is like gigantic. And this one took me forever to finally figure that out. But here's this one. So fits perfectly inside. There you go. There's A5. All right. So there's the journal. I also have a little list that I'm going to go over with you for things that you can use the journals for because um, in talking with my PR girls, some of the things that they wanted me to kind of switch out, I don't know if journals was one of them, but they were talking a lot about the um, sticker storage. So I have some ideas. I have some ideas. So this month I'm going to try something different. You're going to be able to get the bundle, not this one, but you'll be able to get the bundle with or without sticker storage. But I want to know if you guys want me to continue with the journals. And I'm going to give you some ideas on things that you can use these journals for, not just for journaling. So let me finish going through this and then we'll do that really quick. So this right here is a vellum sticky. Vellum sticky. See that? So now you can use it like you can put it right on your page. So when you're decorating a page, this has sticker to it. So you can cut it into strips. You can use it as a whole. You can cut it in half. You can use it as a backer. You can do whatever makes your little heart happy with it. But you don't have to figure out how to stick it to the page anymore because it is a giant sticker. So super, super easy to use. Um, I, I made that change last month because I thought, some people just don't have the right kind of tape to tape these down and then you have to worry about them like kind of getting caught on stuff and pulling so I decided to go with sticker. So there's that and then here is the washi. So here you have two sheets of washi, all different designs and then your kit. So in the kit, I'm gonna start from back to front. We're gonna go page 10 up. So this is a 10 page kit plus two washi sheets and this. So it's actually technically 13, 13 sheets in here. So you have all of your prompts for this month. You have your self-care page. 
I love this artwork. I was really excited to use this artwork. So it was a choice between this one and the Kittenest Girl Jess artwork for Bright, which I do have journals for that. Those are going to go up in this tour. All of the extra journals that I have are going up uh, for, I'll put them in there starting the first of the month, but they're all going up for Black Friday. So all of the extra journals that I have will be in the shop and available. So if you're looking for extra notebooks, and we'll get into what other things you can use them for. But here's page seven, six. Oh, I love, just love these. This is my favorite right here with the stars. Oh, just love it. Then here is your page five, which has my favorite little journaling thing here. And then all the little extra sayings in here. Not sayings, quote, quote boxes. And these are all kiss cut. Everything on here is kiss cut on every single page. And then you have your four page. Sorry, get them apart. You have your four page mini kit. So you can use this one in your planner. There is all the stuff that's going to be in the Winter Dragon. It's what's called Journaling Bundle, and this is for the month of November. I'm going to set that one off to the side, and then I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull out just a couple of things that I have so you can see what extra stuff is going to be going up in the shop. And we're going to go over journals really quick. Okay, so these are the ones that I have available in the shop. These is artwork that's not going to come out as a journaling bundle or anything. They were scheduled to be, but I've replaced these months with the hand-drawn art because that's where we're going. So this one's really pretty. You got your front and back. It's very summery. It's very, very pretty. This one was a, is a nice Christmas one. Look at that. Look at that tree. There's a beautiful Christmas one that you can use. And then this one is the leftovers from the, this was the mistake, I guess. <laughs> not knowing what, not reading and not paying attention to what you're ordering. That's this right here, but the artwork is fantastic. Absolutely love this. This is the Happy Harvest. So there's some extras of the Happy Harvest, just a handful, like four of them. Then these ones, there's more of because we're not releasing them in a bundle. So I have a lot more of these. So some ideas obviously is journaling. So one of my friends has uh, kids in school. So she's got one in sixth grade and one in 10th grade. And when she has extra journals, like she gets these every single month, she buys these like clockwork and she buys both the journaling and the, um, monthly bundle that I come out with that has all the extra stuff. So she buys them all. She gets all the journals. And what she does is she gives them to her daughters when she doesn't like, if it's something that she knows she's not going to use or she's not ready to use, she gives them to her daughters and they take them to school and they use them as notebooks. So they use them for doodling. They use them for getting note taking. They use them for all that kind of stuff. So that's just one other thing that you can use these for. If you find yourself getting too many journals and you don't know what to do with them, give them to your, your kids that are in school and let them use them as notebooks because these are some pretty cool looking notebooks and it's not something that you could buy at Target. So they'll be like, it'll be something different for them, something kind of fun. The other thing is, like I said, for doodling, if you're a doodle person, like if you like to sketch, you can draw. These are all dot grid notebooks. So they're really good for doodling and I'll explain why because you can use these dots to kind of measure things out and figure out how big you want something if you happen to be a person that likes to draw. Um, like note taking for classes, to-do lists, recipe books. These make great recipe books. You can add stuff to them like little um, print stuff out and just paste it straight in here and then write your notes underneath. You can take pictures and put them in there so that kind of leads on to like the scrapbooking or the memory keeping kind of stuff. Budgeting budgeting because you've got your dot grid so these are perfect for budgeting um all you need is a stencil with some little with the little check boxes and circles and you're good to go for a budgeting book um like a goal bucket list garden planner there's like so many things that you can use these so for so don't just don't just think journal. When I say journal, what I should technically say is notebook because these are all notebooks and they can be used as, as you would use any notebook and they just have pretty covers on them. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of go over that really quick because I wanted to give you like some ideas on what you can do with that. Now let's go over the freebies. So this month's freebies, you can tell we are into Christmas. So this is the everybody orders freebie. These are all kiss cut so you can put decorate mail cards, drink cocoa, buy gifts so you can actually mark those. And then here's all the little characters. Then I'm sorry, I will refocus when we're done. These, I didn't get a chance to really show these off, but these are all of your PR Girl freebies. So we've got uh, Tara. So you would put in Tara 15. I'm keeping it up here so you can see. Here is Sabrina's with Sabrina 15. Sabrina loves her books. And so she's got the books. And um, Brandy, Brandy 15. These are all ones that they asked for. And then they got, um, like the tea. I did a tea one for Brandy because she's a tea drinker and then she wanted family and stuff. So if you look at each one of these, one of them is exclusive to that person. And then the other one, like Tara with her turtle, 
The exclusive one is this book right here. She's also got Happy Meal and a couple other book reading ones. Her ex She wanted this, uh, but that's her exclusive and she wanted the coffee one. And then Brandy's got her tea. So anyway, those are the PR freebies. So don't forget to put those in the notes and that's during sale time too. You can totally add them even though you're not using their discount because the sale discount is going to be better than their 15%. Um, you can always get their freebie. And yes, it is only one normally. Sometimes I'll make an exception for people and give them all three. But for the most part, it's just one, one of the PR girls. So each time you order, just add a different PR girl and then you'll get, you'll get them all. Okay, let's move on to the, nope, I'm going to do the non-leafy art just to get that out of the way. So two sets of artwork that I absolutely loved and decided to add to this month's collection. So we have Whimsical Fall, which is just, look at the colors. Like the colors are just odd, different, not your normal fall colors. I love these bright blues and the pinks. And look at this with all the greens and the pinks and the blues together and that like cobblestone walkway going out. It's just so fun. This is a fun, fun kit. So this one is a six page photo kit album. And I told you I was going to make some changes and I did. I'll show you what I did. So here's your page two, this beautiful farmhouse. Look at that tree. Oh my gosh. And pink. Look at pink, pink for fall, pink and orange. Love, love, love. Here is your page three, which you have your colorway, all of your little check boxes here. And here's where I made the changes. I told you I was gonna add more checklists. So we have more check boxes. And then look at this colorway. This does not scream fall, but it is very fall. Like it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't know how to explain it, but there is your six page kit. This one's called Whimsical Fall and it is fantastic. And like I said, this is the photo page, photo kit page. I will be changing um, some things around as soon as I get my graph tech machine up and running to where I'm only gonna have certain, um, certain types of kits available and I'm not going to stray from it anymore. So once I settle on something, it's probably not going to change for a really long time. So this not going to change for a really long time. It's if it's a photo kit, this is the format that the photo kit's going to be in. I also have this available in the Hobonichi Weeks. Okay. Can you see now it's all like put together. You see how those colors just blend beautifully. Oh my gosh. It's just, oh, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love that. Then I wanted to do some creep. So we've got some creep. So this is the six page format with, this is the, the fun the fun format. So here are all of your boxes, your big boxes. This is your second page. Look at this washi, so creepy. So this one's called Spooky Christmas. And then here's your page three. And then your page four. This is what I mean by like the fun stuff. So we're bringing in the deco into the little boxes. So these are all your half boxes. These are all dividers right here. And you've got some of your weekend stuff. Then here is your weekend banner. And you've got flags. And you've got like a little um, divider here. And then all of your deco. And some like little extra weird boxes. Some smaller flags. And all your deco. Your other sidebar item. And some checklists. So I mean check dots. So that is the other. So there's two six page formats. One with deco and one without. So this is the deco one. And isn't that so fun? This is like the funnest kit ever. I just, I don't know why, but spooky and Christmas, because I love, 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 love Nightmare Before Christmas. And so once they started like meshing Christmas and Halloween together, I was like, yes, please. Love it, love it, love it. And I will try to continue to bring that to you. You should see what my theme list is for poor little Leafy next. Oh my gosh, next year I've got the theme list all done. I've already actually got all the way through February finished. So anyway, here is your Hobonichi Cousin. I'll leave it there for a second so you can take a look at it. So there's Hobonichi Cousin and I did this one in Hobonichi Weeks. I can't really do Hobonichi Weeks in the photo kits because I really like, I have my checklists here. There's some deco on here that I really love to use. So if it's a photo kit, you're probably not going to see it in the weeks. So there's that one for the Hobonichi Weeks. Okay. Okay. So now it's time. It's time to start working on Leafy. Okay. Little Leafy. We have some new smaller sheets. So I'm going to start off with the non-holiday Yep, the first three are non-holiday and then we're getting into holiday. So I have a budget time. And if you're curious, because I have like a weird sense of humor, these I'll explain what each one of these are. So this is a no spend and she's got her little 
chain around her with a lock and a bunch of money that's in, in the in the what the hell face. And then this one is the savings jar. That was pretty obvious. This one is envelope stuffing. A lot of people envelope stuff and they keep saying I want to try it because at the end of the year you have a boatload of money that you can spend on like Christmas and stuff. But I just never like I never get it started. But if you're an envelope stuffer, it can be that or it can be like a bill pay because it just all it says here on the little if you can read it, it says week number and it just means like what week you're putting money into your envelope and then budget easy easy peasy budget so this is budget time then you know sometimes you just need this you just need it sometimes it's just a poop day and you need something that says well poop and so there's well poop and doodle day so if you're a doodler or a drawer if you like to do any of that kind of stuff you have something to mark that in your planner then we're into holiday stuff so black friday sampler this one is available to purchase but it's also going to be part of tiered freebies on Black Friday. So if you are thinking that you're going to do some damage on Black Friday, um, you might not want to add this to your cart before then because it'll end up being a freebie in the cart. But anyway, how stinking cute. She's got sale in her glasses. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it up really close. Let's see if you can see where it says sale. Sorry, my hand, I can't keep it steady enough, but sale. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> she just, I just love this page. And the colorway for it, all black, gray, red love 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 so there is black friday this one i didn't get to share on camera so i'm going to show it to you now but this is the holiday movie night nightmare before christmas year without a santa how the grinch stole christmas a christmas story frosty the snowman elf christmas carol and charlie brown christmas so these are all little leafies counting down some of the favorite movies that most everybody watches during the holidays so there's that one then here's all the holiday leafies so here she is with her little stocking and she's got her um little poinsettia or I think that's what you, hollyberry, sorry, I couldn't think of the word, hollyberry up on her head. And then this one's hot cocoa. And then happy mail. And I, I drew an old timey um, mailbox. So if you ever watch any of like the old Christmas movies, a lot of the mailboxes look like this right here. So, and it says Santa mail on it and it's got all the little decorations. And then this one is holiday shopping. It says ho 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 on there. He's got his little winter scarf on. And so that one is holiday shopping. So those are the individual leafy sheets that we have for this month. I set that one off to the side and move on to the bundle. So here's the big bundle. All of this is available separate including one of the things that I added. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff. I'm just gonna lay everything out here so we can talk about the bundles. So we have, here's the two storage options and I'm doing it different. So the same number of bundles are available, but you can either do with or without, if I can figure out how to put it up there, I'm gonna try with or without these and they will be separate listings. So this one, is obviously the five by seven. This is the reusable with the reusable pages. And then this is the five by seven top loading running really low on these. So, and when they're gone, I'm moving to the six by eight. So if you're a five by seven lover and there's some of these designs that you like from my shop, you're going to want to pick them up because these, once I'm, these are gone, the five by seven top loading, they are gone, gone. I'm not ordering any more of them. I'm going to be ordering the six by eight. So I'm just waiting, just waiting until I can kind of offload some stuff. Cause I have no space. So there's that. I'll set that kind of up there so you can still see it. Here's the journal slash notebook. Isn't it so cute? And then here's the back. It is just adorable. Dot grid on the inside. Much, much, obviously much less pages than what we're used to, which is why we're not doing this anymore. But again, this makes a fantastic little notebook. Someplace to just jot down some things, maybe even a budget book because there's not a lot of pages in here. So budgeting, this would be perfect because you can only use this for a couple months and then you would run out of space. So perfect for like holiday lists, that kind of stuff. So here is this, this is part of the bundle. Then I added something different, something a little special. So we uh, try to do this without glare. I made um, Christmas cards. So there's gonna be a set of four Christmas cards with envelopes in here. So you can send these out to your friends, your little planner buddies, but here is this scene. I just couldn't, The I love this artwork. <laughs> I know, this is so weird. Like I love this artwork so much. I couldn't just have it in a little box. I wanted to have it bigger in bigger places. So what I did with these is I made, I framed them up and I put them um, as part of my holiday decorations upstairs on the mantle. So there's four of these in those little, um, cause these are four by six cards. So they're in the frames upstairs on the mantle. Well, that's where they're going to go. I haven't put them up there yet, but that's where they're going to go for decorating for Christmas, but they are cards, card cards. So I did a little different 
These are much, much nicer cards than last time. These are all like professionally, these are, are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And what I did was I made the cards. So these are attached onto card bases where it says happy holidays and then cocoa and fluff on the back. So you have this design here with him, the little reindeer peeking through the window. And then you've got Santa relaxing in front of the fire with the tree and all the decorations. Then here, you've got them working on the toys, all the same on the inside. I didn't change anything on the inside or the back. And then the kitchen scene where Mrs. Claus is making all the cookies. So, and then you've got the envelopes to go with it. So these are part of the bundle. You'll get all four of these. You can hear it. These are good, 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 good quality cards. Okay, and then on to this little extra that I added in there because, you know, not a nice checklist. So there's a washi roll of checklists. And they're just the black boxes that you can just check off. You do sideways this way and then check stuff off for lists. So that's in there. Then your monthly for this month. So here's all of your little extras and your months. And let me just quickly turn this off because the heater just came on. It's cold here. And you know, it's funny because um, I'm doing Christmas right now and it's like barely even Halloween. As a matter of fact, when I am filming this, it is um, October 24th. So <laughs> it's not even Halloween, but it, we're going to get snow this week. So it's okay. It's all right. So here is your sidebar and all of your little extras. And then this one is, these are your two top. So this is the monthly. So you get this comes in the bundle or separate. You can, or you can get all of these things separate except for the washi tape. Um, and the journals are very limited. Then your washi tape for this month, all hand drawn by me, every single little itty bitty piece. And then your kit. See what I mean? Like it's so small, but <laughs> there they are. I wanted them to be bigger. And so that's how you ended up with the cards. So here are all of your full boxes. Well, eight of your full boxes. And I'll just leave it here for a second so you can see them all because I think they're adorable. My favorite one is the bedroom scene. That was my favorite. I don't know why, but drawing it was just absolutely so fun. But you've got the outside the house and you've got them packing up the sleigh. Then it's just like um, a fun one to put like at the top of your um, to-do list on the side. You know, your check check, bar, check box list, whatever you want to call that thing, functional on the side. And then you've got them at the toy shop. They're getting, they're packaging up all the toys. Then you've got Mrs. Claus making the stockings. Then you've got Mrs. Claus and her little helper elves in the kitchen making cookies. Then they're getting ready for bed on Christmas Eve. And then Santa is chilling here with all of his presents after he's already done all the deliveries. So that is your page one with your eight full boxes. Your ninth full box is the little snowman outside with little girl Leafy. And then the, the sleigh and the reindeer. And then your date covers and your washi. So this is an eight page full kit. Your numbers and your extra pages and your functional page. These are dividers here. And I got this. I got this. We can do this. All right. <laughs> They're sticking together. And then the fun page with all the little extras and you got your, your check boxes. Some more of your, oh, these, my favorite. I love being able to put like little scenes inside of these and then more dividers and your colorway boxes. And then this page here with all of your little extras and I put some of the new icons at the bottom. And then this one here with all your check boxes and the rest of that. So there's that. And then the last things that come in the bundle this month, which I know it seems like there's a lot in here this month, but you don't have to get it this way if you don't want to. You can totally just order these things separately and you don't have to get everything. So I did do a vinyl, little vinyl, and this one only comes in the bundle, but this is a little December vinyl. And then these are new. So I'm putting them in here so you can try them out, but you have some, this is washi paper. So you've got some little sampler, washi samplers here, a couple more on this one, and then a whole bunch of deco. And as you can tell, all of these are kiss cut, except for the dots, like the little tiny dots aren't kiss cut. But I wanted to try out my first full sticker sheet that I made on the iPad without you know, doing it inside of design. And <laughs> this is how it came. It came out really, really cute. I love, love, love it. I love being able to put all these like little extra things on there. So all the little hearts and stars and stuff are all kiss cut. And then you've got like a ton of stuff here. And this, like I said, is washi paper. So it's kind of delicate. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but it's really, 
delicate. It's super, super thin and you can rip it just like washi. So it is exactly the same material as what you get on a roll of washi. So you can rip them um, and they're super, super thin. So this makes this really good for people who don't want to put a lot of bulk. So there's these and then there's these. So that is everything from the bundle. And then there's just a couple of smaller ones to show you. So we obviously always have Hobonichi Cousin. So we have the Hobonichi Cousin monthly. If you need the monthly, there's that. And then we have the Hobonichi Cousin Weekly, which is that one there. Which I'll leave it so you can see. I should probably zoom in. Let me zoom in for you so you can see better. There. So there's that one. Then you have Weeks. Let me move this so you can see it. Then you have your Weeks. So you have your... Yep, I can do this. Page one, two, and three for the Hobonichi Weeks. So there. That's everything that I have for the month of November, there are going to be, this does not include Black Friday stuff. I am currently working on, like as far as sticker releases, that's this, but we also have for Black Friday, um, some special things that are going to be happening. I'm trying to like get everything up here so I won't be able to fit everything, but you get the idea. You get the idea. There is a lot of stuff here. Anyway, there will be for Black Friday, we're going to bring back the, um, we call them the grab bags. So there's, I have a lot of oops. <laughs> so there's a lot of grab bags to go out. Um, like I said, I'm going to be stocking up the extra journals, be stocking up all the extra things that I have kind of laying around. It's time to do some house cleaning. So everything's going to be, I, there's going to be some announcements for Black Friday because I don't feel like it's fair for everybody to have to sit around and wait to see when power hours are going to happen and stuff like that, because you got stuff to do. I am not definitely not going to spend my weekend on Facebook, like staring at it, waiting for somebody to do a power hour. So as soon as I put the graphics up, just kind of keep an eye on them, maybe bookmark them or something like that, because the graphics are going to tell you exactly what time we're doing power hours every single day. So you will be able to just hop on and pick up what you want, pick up the freebies you want for that day, and then move along with your day without having to sit there and stare at the, <laughs> stare at the computer all day, waiting for me to decide when I'm going to announce power hours so everything is going to be on the graphics you'll be able to find everything and yeah so i'll make more announcements when we get closer to black friday this is everything that i have thanks so much for hanging out for me i mean 32 minutes uh it seems like an awful lot but anyways i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you again on the next one bye